Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new C Sharp tutorial. So this is our fourth tutorial and we're going to do a couple of cool things in today. So first thing we're going to do is fix the little error bug we've got when we close forms and then we're going to add some more characters and stuff to our game. Of course, it's always cool. So at the moment when we log in and click submit, if we were to close this, you'll see our application is still running and that's not what we want, that's poor application. So what I'm going to do is fix it and it's super simple, really, really easy. Like I said it was, it's really easy to do. So what we're going to do is when we close this form, this one will close off our application because that's the main form. That's the main one as you can see. But what we're going to do is put it on there as a security measure, just to be safe. So what we're going to do is go back, go onto our main menu form for now and we're going to click it and click our events again. And something I didn't show last time, to get back off of the events, you click the button next to it that's called Properties. It just switches between them, see? Easy. So what we're going to do is f scroll up to F, and we're going to find Form Closing. Not Form Closed, Form Closing. So Form Closing basically means, when we click that X up there, it closes our form. Or if we type me.hide, it closes our form. Correct? Well, yeah, it does. We all know that. But what form closing does is while it's closing, it activates the code. Form closed happens once it's closed. It's probably not best to do it in form closed, I don't know, but it does work in form closing. So just double click and it'll come up with this one. And all we're going to type is application, which basically grabs our entire project application. And we're going to put dot exit really simple if you follow my unity tutorials you know it's application.quit or it's application.exit it's one of them but it's really really simple and that will close the entire project really simple so you saw it before you logged in you clicked it off it was still there we do it now boom it's closed completely now we're not going to put it on a game because we want you to be able to turn that off but one thing i'm going to test is show you is i'm going to log in here YouTube videos, submit, then I'm going to click go back and then cross it off because it's still there. So we do need to do it. So on form closing up uh, here, we're going to paste it in again. So application, that's not application, application.exit. So now when we close it off, it might throw an error because if we've told it to close when we close it, if we were to click submit and it hides it, it might get rid of it. So if we type uh, YouTube videos, it, perfect, so it didn't do it. So if we click go back and click it, then it crosses it off. So my worries are gone because I was worrying about that one. But yeah, so application.exit, I'll zoom in again, I apologise. That one, really, really simple. So again, you click events, form closing. And you will use a lot of these events because they are, they are so good. Honestly, they're really good. But yeah, so we're going to go to a game right here. So let's add an enemy. Really simple. In fact, we'll add a life bar. That's even better. So we've got. So we're going to drag progress bar out. Right? You can use picture boxes if you like. Progress bars just look cooler, as you can see. Right there. If we go to properties and go to value, you can turn it to 100. 10. That was um, 100. It looks like a proper life. And it even starts up fresh for you at the beginning, which is cool. So when you first load it, it starts up. So I'm going to put it roughly there. That's it. And I'm just going to call it life. Easy, right? So we need a way to take down the character's life. And it's really simple to do again. So I'm going to um, not double click on it. Go back to our code. If you haven't got the code, just go view code. And I'm going to scroll down to key down in here. So just here, we'll type two slashes which just means comment. You can also put slash stars like that but that's if you're doing blocks of text as you can see. Um, if you just do two slashes it means you can only do one line as you can see. It's just they're really really helpful you will use them a lot trust me. So in here we're just going to type movement. So all this code represents movement code. But I'm going to show another cool thing called regions. Now this is only Visual Studio specific, I've not seen this in anything else. Yeah you can close things like that, but um, what about if you want the code inside, it doesn't work, you can't really close it. So if we, instead of the slashes we put hashtag, which is the Twitter knots and crosses symbol thing, we just put hashtag region, 
and then we put movement there then we're going to come down to the bottom of this just under this code and we're going to hashtag end region like so so you can move it in if you like like that I'll just do that but what you can do is close regions so as you can see movement easy right so we put hashtag region life hashtag end region then in here we'll simply type our code for what we need really easy so we type if e dot key code key code it's called it's not called e that's why it's not working key dot key code there we are and then we put equals so what key are we using today so we'll type keys dot hmm so for the key to take down our health we'll say h health h yeah easy so in here all i'm going to do is set this as a little clicker button so when we press it it demonstrates that our health going down so all we're going to do is type in life which is the name of our progress bar then we're going to go and get its value property now the value property is the one we were editing so you can change it and that's all we're going to do we're going to set it minus equals something so we'll say minus equals 10 easy right so i'm going to copy it all again and instead of h i'm going to put j and i'm going to put a plus so we press the two keys it'll take down our health and you can hide it up really simple i love those things i really want them in unity or something mono but hey so in here we'll type youtube videos submit game perfect so we can move around press h oh no we're losing health press j we're gaining health and it's got a nice smooth feature as you can see so there is one glitch though if we were to press j to increase our life again you'll see that it slowly crashes there we are so it's basically saying 110 is not valid for value value should be between minimum and maximum so if we cross it off and go back to our game and click our progress and our properties we've got here a minimum there zero and a maximum 100 and our base wrong one maximum and basically every time we press it we're going to go over that maximum and it's going to say no thank you we don't want it now then it crashes we don't want that if we keep going health packs say we've got 20 in a line and we go through them all it's going to crash we don't want that so we need to make it work really simple so in here all we're going to type is if i get it lined up right if life dot value and then we're going to put is less than and now most people here will put 100 but that's going to give us 110 again because if it's less than 100 that means if our life is 100 it's 100 or less so it is less than it technically that means we could collect it and it equals 110 but then it's going to crash so what you need to do is actually put 90 because if it's 90 or less you can even put equals if it makes you feel better equals and um, if it's 90 or less then it's going to pick it up make it equal 100 that's it you can't increase no more and then you can put your bracket on and a good thing about if statements like these not the void statements if statements if they've only got one line under them like this you don't actually have to put the curly brackets it does it for you so that is the exact same as that but if I wanted it to increase it twice, like so, you can see it's automatically trying to put it below. And it won't work. It won't work at all. You have to have the brackets if you're doing more than two. But if you're doing one, it works fine. So we can copy this single line and paste it in here. Stretch that out. So this one, we've got to put, is it more than 10? And then that should work. So if it's more than 10, it should... I've got them completely the wrong way. Put that there, put that there. Right, that's better. So when we decrease plusing health, if it's less than 90, increase it to 100. If it's less than 10, it, well, if it's more than 10, it can keep decreasing because if it decreases while at 5, it's going to go minus 5 and crash. If it decreases while at 10, it goes to 0 and is fine. So let's go and try it. It should work. So if we click game and increase, so we press H, 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 
you can see it won't go down. If we press J, it sticks at 90. So obviously, we need to put the equals in. So all you're going to do is after the sign, the arrow, we're going to put equals. So that means if it equals 10 or more, continue. If it equals 90 or more or less, then do it. It's kind of confusing to get your head around that at first, but keep working with it and you'll get it. So if we press J, you'll see it won't increase, we don't get no errors. Press H, it goes to zero and does not go anywhere. J, as you can see, I am pressing it, nothing. Perfect. So we can still move around, we can decrease our health because we're evil to our character. Really simple, right? So thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Code's right there, really, really, really simple. Please thumbs up if you liked it, Facebook and Twitter and stuff down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you.